All right, here we go. We'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully I can do this in one shot. So I'm starting it off. I'm, um, yeah, I'm not going to do like I, I'm not, there's just too much movement and whatnot. And I want to get into the fun stuff every once in a while. There's no way I'm going to do all the movement of the entire German army and then start doing, um, also I'm going to lose focus. Remember, I'm not playing the game that way. Like it, it's extremely sporadic in the sense. So I don't know when I'm going to get back to it because I have other things to do. So why not focus on, uh, you know, on little regions. So anyways, here we go. I've moved all the replacement units I can around, I'm pretty darn sure. So all the reinforcements have been put into place. Um, so all the strength points, at least I've done that for the Germans. We don't have to worry about that anymore. So I'm starting off with the Vorsch army. Remember I did that little uh, slinky thing here. That's the first Hotzendorf uh, inf infantry division. I thought, hey man, give them a bit of a shot and see what it uh, was. They rolled a six to hop across here, a hop across the Itzanka, and uh, they stay there. They're not going to do a combat or anything, but it's just like, I just, you know, a bit of, a bit of sign of pride. Um, I shifted some troops around here just to give them, uh, to give myself some continuity of line. And now here comes the interesting bits. So, we're flush, flush with supply points. Actually, I've got so many supply points over here, I don't even think I can use them. Uh, talk about an inefficient use. Uh, yeah, I've been really bad this way. Um, well, well, we'll not say me. How about we'll say the Germans? <laughs> the Germans have been bad, uh, have been inefficient moving their troops around because they want, they, this is a beautiful reminder. They jumped so far ahead of their railhead, their supply points. They, they're way, they're way, like their railheads are way the hell over here. Oh, this is wonderful. I love seeing this. This is like historical. What what the heck happened many times when people went, you don't jump too far ahead, and that's exactly what's happened here. I've got like a lot. I just I've got all the parts, just not in the right places. Anyways, here we go. So I moved some uh, troops around the Vorsch army. We're going to do a combined uh, uh, Vorsch uh, army direct and the fourth uh, fourth corps here, both under Vorsch army. Um, it's going to cost uh, a total of 42 strength points uh, sitting here, and it's going to um, uh, require 11 strength point uh, supply points. We've got that. Don't worry about this. I understand that this guy can only do a maximum of two because he's a core HQ. I'll just slip him on over here. This I'm just I'm just saying it's like all that that's going to be arranged. I'm not going to go through all who's ever here. However, I am going to go over these guys. I think. Hold on. I think it's number 41. I think it's number 41. And then I got to go and change the. Yep. So the, nope, who are they? Okay, it's number 57. These guys here, I'm not kidding you. These guys are entirely um, uh, either Festung infantry divisions or Hotzendorf uh, infantry divisions, which means they're entirely garrison type troops. Um, and I'm using them for a monster offensive on the 4th Army HQ who are holed up in Kielce. So, now that I know the new rules, or uh, read the rules properly, um, so the 4th Army HQ, who's ever there, I don't have a clue who's there yet, they're going to be defending across woods, and uh, they never have to retreat due to the fact that they're in a city center. So they can just sit there and just get obliterated if they want. Um, so that's that. It's a bizarre, in a weird way, I don't even have to look at who they're going to attack. Um, let's go and find out in a minute. I'm just going to go and roll. So that's 42 strength points on a minus 2 to the die roll. But I haven't done a 42 in probably since the September offensive with the Austrians or something crazy like that. So here we go. Let's see what I can do with a 42. Let's not even look at the CRT yet. Let's just roll and find out how many hits happens and then go from there. Oh, I, I went quickly looked up Kielce. It's a really important town. It was like it's uh, they don't know when it started. It's over 900 years old. Um, it's changed hands. Oh, actually, the Austrians had it until uh, the fall of Napoleon Bonaparte for some bizarre reason. I don't know why it uh, came back to the Russians, but it did. It was the first town or whatever city uh, that was liberated by the uh, from the Russians. They say and you know liberate whatever. But anyways, here we go. 
it's a 3. So down to a 1. Let's see what a 1 does on a 42. Um, well, it's not too bad. Oh, they shoot though. Hey, look at this. They could have done 9. Well, never. They could have done 7. Instead, they do 4. Holy, oh, you don't see that. Imagine that. So they go from 7 to a 4. Well, anyways, let's see. I have no idea what, um, how many um, strike points are sitting there for the Russians. So let's go take a look. Number 29 with the, tw uh, Ruski, I do believe. Well, guess what? They don't have to retreat. <laughs> oh, my F. It's just unbelievable. Like, the Russians are just... I don't even know what to say, man. I just... <laughs> I really just do, don't know what to say half the time. Yeah, as far as I know, it's Ruski. Hold on here. It's, no, it's Von Salza. What am I saying? Jeepers jumping. Ruski uh, was, uh, got fired. This is Von Salza. So, Fourth Army Von Salza, you little bugger. Um, no matter what happens, he's got, uh, I'll tell you why. He's got the 18th Inter Infantry Division there with two strength points. The second. Uh, a brigade of the 45th Infantry Division with two strength points, and the Kielce Opolcheni Brigade with one strength point. And he's got two uh, supply points left, and guess what? He's going to use them, obviously, because it's the last turn. So let's take a look at the hits again. I just want to make sure I get this right. On a 42, down to a 1, they're going to do four hits which means the 18th Inf Infantry Division and the 2nd Brigade are going to be wiped out at the end of this. And uh, kind of like uh, Brusilov in Stanislaw is just going to be left with an Opal Cheney Brigade. And that's just the way it is. They're just going to hold out. Hold out. Okay, so he's got 8, 9 points. Um, he can do uh, 8... Um, he can fully supply uh, uh, 8 counter-attacking strength points. They're tripled. Oh, someone uh, left a message. Sorry, I was just uh, taking a look at my thing here. 8 times 3 is 24. So we're going to go in the 24 column here, and I'm going to roll. Wow. This has been, uh, I thought for sure Kielce was going to fall. Really did. Son of a bee. And of course they do a 5, which is a 6. They do 5 hits. <laughs> Oh my Lord, Lifton. So, um, well, that's just the way it goes. So, um, uh, Van Salsa stays here. Jesus, Murphy, this was incredible. Well, I, I was, I thought it was good. Well, it's still going to be written up in the headlines and newspapers, but I thought for sure this was going to be a major uh, German victory. But like I said, inefficient use of uh, troops and uh, supply. I could have brought in way more people if I had just planned correctly. Yeah, I'm losing whatever. Okay. That's it. Hope you're having fun. See you in a bit.